In this video, we will be going over the real-time spectrogram module within VisiPitch. As the name suggests, this module allows you to record and plot voice signal data into a spectrogram in real-time. This is extremely useful as it provides measurements of key articulation parameters and provides real-time visual biofeedback. When you first open the program, this is the window you will see. At the top left, you will see the menu buttons, and directly below, you will see the toolbar. The toolbar contains shortcuts and many commonly used functions in the program. To review the functions of each button on the toolbar, please click the Help button at the end of the toolbar to open up the instructions for use. Below that, you will see windows A and B. These windows are very helpful for comparison as you can record a target signal in window A, a speaker signal in window B, and compare them directly. The program also facilitates these comparisons by providing predetermined protocols in the protocol menu with each protocol measuring a different articulation parameter. Let's begin by recording our own target signal and our own speaker signal. To record, simply press the record button and to stop recording, simply press the spacebar. However, there are many different ways in which you can start and stop recording and these can be reviewed in the instructions for use by clicking on the help button in the toolbar. Let's begin by recording in window A. To ensure that you're recording in the correct window, simply click in the window you'd like to record in. President. As you can see, as I recorded and spoke the word president, the program was already forming a spectrogram in real time. Once I stopped the recording, the spectrogram is displayed in window A. Now let's record a speaker signal in window B. President. As you can see, by omitting the letter I, the vowel I from the word president, the form and structure is very different between A and B. Now, you can actually change this as you to a narrow band spectrogram. The program defaults to a wide band spectrogram when you're recording. To change it to a narrow band, simply right click on the window, go to RTSPG setup, click on the analysis section and increase the number of points. However, in this particular case, we'll keep it to a wideband spectrogram as a wideband spectrogram is a much more useful tool for analyzing formants. Now, let's go through a different protocol. Let's begin with a sustained phonation protocol. You will see that once I click into the protocol, a prompt window will pop up and it will play the target signal for me and then prompt me to record my own signal. You can see the prompt. It's playing the target signal. Uh, and I record my own signal. Uh, the program then plays back the recorded signal and shows you the two spectrograms. As you can see, for this specific protocol, it is using a narrow band spectrogram as we are looking at harmonics, not formants. Here you can compare the harmonics between the target signal and the recorded signal, and as you can see, the harmonics are very clear in both. If you are happy with the signal you have recorded, you can press the save button on, uh, to save the signal data from the toolbar. You can also save the signal data from the menu. Furthermore, you can also print the entire window image or the active window image to save the spectrogram graphs themselves. Let's go through one more protocol. Let's go through the Daifang practice for boy. Again, the order of operations of pressing into the protocol, the protocol playing you, opening a prompt and playing you the target signal, then requesting you to record your own signal and playing it back is the same for all the protocols. So let's begin. Here's the prompts. Boy. Boy. It'll play my signal Boy. back. Boy. And now we can compare the form and structures of the two signals. In this case, we're looking at form and transitions throughout the utterance of the word boy. And as you can see, the form and transitions in my recording are very, very similar to the target recording. If at any point you would like to find out more about additional protocols and additional functions, you can always check the instructions for use by clicking the help button in the toolbar.